So in today's video, we're going to be covering three things. First, we're going to look at all the pieces and parts that come with the Bernina L890. Then we're going to talk about navigating your way through the screen. And then lastly, we're going to thread her up and we're going to do a stitch. Let's get started. Inside your box, you're going to have all kinds of goodies. And the first thing I saw was this box of Seracore Mettler Serger Thread. Now, I've been using Seracore for almost a year now, and I really like the thread. So this is kind of like a little mini box of five so that you can try it out and see what you think of it. You also, of course, have your warranty, and on here it lists what all the pieces of the warranty are, and there's a little extra $5 off your next Bernina purchase of $50 or more once you do fulfill your warranty. I really like this quick reference guide. When I first opened up the machine when I was on loan, I definitely took advantage of this. It just kind of explained the basics of the machine, what the buttons are, and it was really handy. So this is one of those that you're going to want to keep close to you as you're getting to know your serger. There's also included the Bernina accessory book, and this is really cool. It's not specific to the serger. It's actually about all of the different machines. So there's lots of information in here. Um, this is kind of invaluable. I really appreciated them including this. And lastly is your Bernina L890 user manual, and it is really beautiful. It's got all kinds of details, excellent full color images, Really, everything you need to know about your serger is going to be right in here. Included in the box is also your dust cover. It is really well made. It's got pockets in the front, the back, and on the side. It's got a nice little embroidery made to create on the front. It has a hard shell with piping on the side so that it holds its shape. And then at the very top, there is a place for your handle to go through. And of course, you have your power cable. And what's nice is it's a similar cable to some of my other Bernina and even my Burnett machines. So I'll be able to keep this in one place and be able to use it for different machines. And then of course you have your foot control and this is what I call like a smart foot control because of course just like any other you're going to press in the front to go forward but on the base of it you have a little needle up down and so if you just gently tap on the back side of it it's going to have your needle go up and down. This is really nice. At first I wouldn't, couldn't really get used to it but then I started to use it and I really like it. The next is your cutoff bin, and it's a little tray that attaches to the front of your serger, and it just sits there really nice, and it comes on and off really easily, which I totally appreciate, and it's just what catches all of your threads and your extra materials. When you're working doing overlock stitching, you're going to need the knife cover insert. And this actually came attached to the serger, but I wanted to show it to you since it's listed in the manual. And if you're not using your knife insert, you're going to be using your cover stitch insert. And this is really cool because it actually has drawn right on the top of it your centimeters and inches so that you can keep things nice and aligned. And there are two holes in the front that are, are threaded so that you can put different serger accessories. The next is your free arm cover. And this also was attached to the serger when I first got it, but I wanted to show it to you because I really appreciate this. The free arm of the serger will just fit right into here and then it helps keep like a flat bed area. But I just, I really like it that it's small and it's compact and it clicks right into place. You also have a slide on table and this is so nice. It removes real easily by just pressing this on the underside. And it's designed so that when your serger is fitting into here, this is where your free arm will go, it gives you a nice flat bed sewing so that you can do larger projects and not have them fall off the side of the serger. This is really nice. So I do love a slide on table. 
The next is your freehand system. And I lovingly refer to this as a knee lift. This basically allows you to not have to lift your presser foot up and down every single time. You would plug this into the front of your serger and then you would just slightly move this with your knee and then it'll actually have your presser foot go up and down. This is something that takes a little getting used to. If you've never used one, I always challenge friends to give it a try, put it in, see how it works. Um, I don't always use it, but I am so glad it's there when I need that extra hand. I don't have to lift my presser foot up from behind. I can just slightly move my knee to the right and my presser foot will go up for me. So this is the free hand system. Attached on the serger was the standard presser foot. This is what you're going to use for all of your overlock stitching and it's going to have the positioning right here. You've got positioning for your three chain stitch needles and you've got positioning for your two overlock needles. And on the foot itself, it all always at the front here, it also has the notches. So these little notches correspond with the needle position. And I really liked how on this one, the three for your chain stitch needles are shorter. And then for your overlock, needle notches, the positions are a little bit longer. So it's a little easier to see. I really, I've, I've never seen that before and I thought that was really cool. And this is your C11 presser foot. Okay, so really conveniently on the front of your Benina L890 is all of the accessories that you're gonna need to help thread your machine and clean it up. And I really love this. The first is you have a little package of needles and they're conveniently placed inside so that you don't have to go digging around. The next is your screwdriver. This is what you're going to remove your needles out of and insert your needles in with. The next is you have a little dust brush. It's just so that you can help keep all the lint and sergers make a lot of mess. So this will just kind of help get everything nice and clean. And then, of course, a pair of Bernina angled tweezers. These are fantastic. And lastly is the needle threader and needle inserter. And what's really cool is on this side, you have your threader. There's even a little hook right here that once you have the thread through the eye of the needle, this little hook pulls it through to the side to help get it out of the way. And then lastly, on the other side is you have your needle inserter because you do want your needles to have the flat going toward the back. So you can even see real clearly that the flat is going toward the back. It's really nice. And everything is nice and neatly put inside here. And I know that it's tricky to see here. Let me go ahead and zoom in, but you can actually see little images of each of the items printed, kind of embossed onto the plastic. Also included is a tin accessory box with a bunch of different standard accessories. So let's just review them quickly. The first one is your overlocker oil. So of course, reference your user manual or ask your local dealer when and where to place that. Then you have your spool stabilizers, and these are the little cones that fit on the back of the spool holders. I don't always use these, but again, it's one of those things when I'm looking for them, I'm really glad that I have them. The next are your spool nets, and you get five of these, and these are gonna be really great for specialty decorative threads. The next are your spool disc, and you have five of these, and these also slip onto the spool holders. It depends on what you're using them for, what application. Uh, again, this isn't something that I always use. They will probably live in here more than they will on my machine, but when I need them, it's gonna be really nice to have. Ideally, they're for smaller spools so that they can sit on top of this and the thread won't get wrapped around underneath. It's really nice the way that these were designed and it does come with five of them. 
The next is your little screwdriver, which this is going to be to not, not necessarily take the needles out. This is for uh, other applications that you're going to discover as you're using your serger. But this is a very typical uh, Bernina looking screwdriver. It's really nice to have. The next is your thread wire. And you are going to want to keep this package closed because once you take it out, it can real easily uncoil. <laughs> but this has two ends and on one end is a little loop so that you can feed thicker threads through if you're wanting to use for your loopers and you would you would put your thread through that little loop there or that little eye and then the other end is going to go in the threading system on your serger. This is really nice to have, real handy, but you're going to want to keep it coiled up inside that bag so that you don't lose track of it. And the last thing in this accessory box is a package of needles that are designed for this serger. So you can always ask your local dealer which other needles you can use, but it's nice that you do get a, a package of them here as well. Then you have another little tin accessory box. This one's a little smaller and inside here are a few very important things. The first is your touchscreen pen. And if you have other Berninos, you are very familiar with this. It's actually magnetized, so it sticks to the side of your machine. And it's just a little stylus so that you can touch your screen on your machine. The next item is so cool. It is called a cover stitch lock tool. And it's designed to grab hold of the needle threads when you're trying to lock a cover stitch. This is just amazing. I love this little tool. And on one side, it has centimeter markings. And on the other, it has inch markings. So it's just really nice. This is, this is not necessarily needed to complete a cover stitch, but they, Bernina just you know, took advantage of that surface and gave you a little extra bit of information. I really like it. The next inside the package is your cover and chain stitch presser foot. This is that presser foot you're gonna use when you're wanting to create chain or cover stitches. It's the C13. And just like your standard foot, here are the placements for where your chain needles will go. And then there are little notches here on the front of the presser foot that correspond with those notches here. And the last little gadget that's inside this tin is the right seam guide. This is the coolest little invention. There is a spring on the back of it that is going to open this part up and it's gonna clamp on the front of your serger when you're doing overlock type stitches. And then you're going to, it's gonna allow you to adjust from side to side and then your fabric would land right into this little ridge and this essentially will be allowing you to get perfect seam allowance. So this thing is so cool. Definitely want to know where this is at when you're doing overlock stitching to get perfect seam allowance. When you first turn your machine on, you're going to choose your language. And then once you're past that, you're going to have this home screen. And if you ever want to get back to here, you just press the little home button in the lower portion. Now there are two modes for this machine. There's the guided mode and the expert mode. Expert mode is once you've been really comfortable with your machine and you don't need any of the extra help. But for right now, I'm still working with guided mode because I really like how it's set up. There are three different folders once you're inside here. There's overlock, cover, and combo. So if you want to stitch an overlock stitch, you would just select that folder. From here, it's going to give you lots of different options of all the stitches that are built into the machine. Now, one of the cool things is you can actually create your own stitches and save them. Now, you have two different modes here that you can, you can see what your stitches are looking like. If you press the little lines here at the top, it'll show you the image again, but what it's called. And when you click on that, then you can set your serger up for that one. The other option is this little overlock stitch guide that has the multiple colors. 
And if you choose that, it will change all of them to regular, like all one color. But I do prefer to keep the multiple colors on because that helps me thread my machine more easily. Everywhere there's a threaded color like red or blue or green or yellow or purple, all of these correspond with actual color dots on your machine. So let's go ahead and just choose number one, which is a four thread overlock. And you're going to just follow through the guided steps. This is why I prefer the guided mode because it shows you everything you're gonna to need to do. So the very first thing is it tells you to raise your presser foot. It even shows in here how to thread or unthread what you've already had. And when I got this machine, these were already threaded. It had the right chain, the left needle, and the covered looper or the chain looper. So it would tell me how to unthread them. It tells me which presser foot I need and what pressure I need. And if you don't know how to put your presser foot on or take it off, there is a little video built into this machine. It is so useful to see exactly how to do everything that you need to know. When the video is finished, it will just keep looping or you can press the pause button to see something a little slower. It's just really cool. It has all of it set up. So see how it's going back and looping. So I'm just gonna close that out and then we're gonna go to the next page. Now this is where we're gonna set up our serger for that four thread overlock. It has all the little things grayed out that you don't need, all the needle positions, and then it'll have the little needle positions that you are gonna need, and there's a little video. It even shows you the tools that you're gonna need that are inside the front accessory case that's built into the machine. It shows you which direction to turn your needles. It's so cool, <laughs> I just love this. And then when you're finished, you would just press the close button. So once you've changed your two needles, we go to the next page. There's a little video on how to activate your knife because we are doing an overlock. We do want our knife to be going up and down and also how to adjust your width. That's also built in. Then you're also gonna need your attached knife cover insert put on. It will show you a little video of how to do that as well. So if you were already using the, cha the chain or the cover stitch, little table, you would just take that out and put the overlock table on. We are going to want our upper looper to go up and down, so we want to make sure it's activated. Again, all of these things are going to have little videos to go along with them, and we are not going to need the hook out upper looper converter. We don't need that. And then it also has a setup for overlock or rolled, so if we were doing a rolled hem, so it tells us to set that up and the MTC, which is the micro thread control, which is really cool if you need to get even more control on your stitches. And then lastly, it shows the little videos of how to thread each thread. So right now it'll show us how to thread our right needle. And if you need to pause so that you can actually Go and do that step. You would just press the pause button and then press play. I think it's really great how it shows you everything, this little thread dancing around the machine. It's just so cool. It even shows you which little slot to put it in so there's no confusion. It shows you how to use your needle threader. It even shows you how to use that little hook that's on the needle threader. So clever. And then once you finish with all of your threading, you just press the green check and you are ready to stitch. Now just to look at your screen, over on the right hand side, the little needles, that, the little thing that looks like a stitching, that's going to bring you back to where all of your stitch options were. You've got all of your tensions at the top. They're automatically set. It tells you what stitch you're on right here, four thread overlock with integrated safety seam. You have speed control right here. So you can automatically, it's set to 1350, but you can lower your speed with the slide or you can do it 10 at a time with the plus and minus. 
If you have problems with your stitching and you're not completely satisfied with it, if you press this little thumbs up, it gives you options and images of what is going on. Does your blue thread or your lower looper look like this? And you could just scroll up. Does your upper looper look like this? You know, what exactly is happening on your stitch and how can we fix it? Once you decide which of the images looks like what's happening, you would just click on that and then it gives you information of what you can do to fix it. So this little thumbs up guy is like having a built-in personal assistant, a personal serger assistant. Over on the left screen, there is a little needle. If you have the needle below the line, that means your needle is going to stop in the down position. If the needle is above the line, that means that the needle is going to stop in the up position. You also have two more icons here. The top one is your length, how long your stitches are going to be. And you have the control with the slider bar. And as you see, it will adjust. The numbers will change in this bar, this little box up here. And you can also do it a little bit at a time with the plus and minus. If your box at the top is yellow, that means you have changed it from the original. And if you just choose that box, it will go back to the default. So that was the length. And the next little icon is the differential feed. Now notice that those two options are on the same page. So over here was our length. And then over here is our differential feed. Now if you're not sure what differential feed is, this little video that's built in is excellent. And it shows you exactly what it's going to do. So if your number is, for example, at 0 0.7, and then you raise it up, you'll notice that your material starts to lay a little flatter. This is really useful, especially when you're working with knit materials. And then if you drag the differential feed up higher and you have 1.5, for example, you'll notice that your material begins to gather almost. So there's lots of options for when you're using differential feed and it will automatically default to where it should, then you have the control to go in there and really fine tune it. So just again, if you go up and down and you change it, it turns yellow and just press the little box, it will go back to the default. And that's just a good way to kind of see the navigating the screen and exactly how to use this machine. So now let's go ahead and thread the Bernina L890. And I just wanted to point out that we have our little cutoff trim bin here. We are going to move this out of the way. And we've already got the threads up here at the top. I've already connected them at the top. But we're just going to open up the side and this little front portion. And we've got to get our thread ports to be connected over here. So we're going to turn this dial. And you'll notice nothing happens, but if we put our foot on the foot control, it automatically engages them. So now they're engaged. And now we're going to start with our lower looper, although it really doesn't matter which thread looper you start with. So we're just going to take that thread and put it a little bit inside there. And then I'm also going to do the upper looper. We're going to put the thread inside the little thread ports just a little bit, and then we press our foot pedal. So we've got our upper looper and our lower looper. And I'm just going to take those threads, go between the blade and the presser foot, and swing toward the back. And now we're going to turn this and disengage it, close the front, and we are going to need to thread our needles. So I am going to use my little needle threader. And just like the video showed, we're going to use that to thread the needle. So I'm going to start, again, it doesn't matter which one you start with. I'm just going to go ahead and start with my left needle. And now I'm going to do my right needle. And 
same thing. The threads can just go between the blade and the presser foot. And then we can put our little threader back in the front. So now let's go ahead and attach our cutoff trim bin there, lower our presser foot, and we will test our stitch. And there we go, it looks beautiful. Well, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you found some value in it, give me a thumbs up and do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions that I didn't address on the Bernina L890, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll come back to them. Or go right into your local Bernina dealer and ask for a demonstration. In fact, tell them that Suki sent you. And until I see you next time, I hope you have a creative day. Bye-bye.